ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಪಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತ ಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈಕೇಶ್ವಸ ಭಕ್ತಿಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರು ಧೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟುದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಜನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲುಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುನಾರ್ವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರುಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗಪವಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶಿ ಪುರುನಾನುರಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಚಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾಖ್ಯಮಾಂಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಹತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿವಾನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಠಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ್ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀರ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನೈವಾತ್ಮನೋ ಪ್ರಭುರಯಂ ನಿಜಲಾಭಪೂರ್ಣ 
नैवात्मनो प्रभुर निजलाभपूर्णो मानम जनाधिदुषो करुणो विनीदे जज्जनो भगवते विदधी तमान तत्मने प्रतिमुखश जथा मुखश्री नैवात्मनो प्रभुर निजलाभपूर्ण मानम जनाद विदुषो करुणो विनीते जद्याद जनो भगवते विदधी तमान तत्मने प्रतिमुख से यथा मुखश्री गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशीला भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर बहुपाद जगदगुरु टोल्ड सो लॉन्ग एज मायाबाद going to persist in this material world till then we cannot get any perfect advantage for the propagation of pure bhakti gauriya goshti pati sisila bhakti siddhant saraswati goshami jagat pahupad jagat guru told so long as mayavad bichar is there on this earth in this world till then we cannot get 100% facility to propagate pure bhakti to save all common fallen soul impossible because mayavad philosophy is so tasty everybody want to get some taste so mayavad philosophy is so tasty that very easily people can accept If I speak about pure bhakti, if I speak about pure bhakti shiddhanta, then nobody can accept. Everybody can become angry. They cannot understand the mercy of Gauriya Mat. They cannot understand the mercy of those Gauriya devotees, pure Gauriya devotees, Gauriya Mat devotees. they cannot realize they are so ignorant they cannot even realize that gauriya mart going to ignore personal interest and going to speak about that absolute truth in front of you maybe whole world can attack them cannot give any pranami no garland no pranami nothing what kind of sacrifice what kind of sacrifice you will have to think before criticizing gauriya mart you will have to think twice what gauriya mart doing whole world against them they are not ready to accept vishuddha siddhanto still they are going to shout like lion so that sam jivatma wandering here and here they are not getting any clue how to lead life properly what is the meaning of this life by chance somebody can understand proper speaking that's why whole day and night it is our effort to sing the glories of bhagwan in different language all the time to save all those you know bonded souls mayavad philosophy is really very tasty tasty in the sense why you say it is very tasty tasty in the sense because mayavad philosophy going to protect your personal interest what do you like naturally you are busy with your body mind money all related thing so mayavad going to convince you okay is good there is no eternal existence of bhagwan useless no there is no eternal existence of bhagwan guru vaishnav nama dama all for the time being we can use sadhu kanam hitar tayo they are speaking mayavad speaking sadhu kanam hitar tayo brahma roop kalpana mayavad is speaking mayavad speaking 
to do bhajan. What kind of bhajan? Even they don't understand the meaning of bhajan. Even though they don't understand the, what is the meaning of bhajan. Bhajan means, in Sanskrit, if you know basic Sanskrit, you know, you, you should know. Bhajan means bhaj. There is a root. Suffix and root, you know. Root and suffix together going to build up one sentence or one word. So this, you know, bhaj dhatu is, is applicable for only for seva. Only for seva, this, this bhaj dhatu bhajan, only for seva. And seva, this term is only applicable for Vishnu Tattva, not for, not for, you know, donkey, monkey, Ah, oh, monkey seva, donkey seva. No, <laughs> not applicable. Seva, this word is only applicable for Vishnu Tattva. An absolute term. But common people, foolish people, they are going to use it. Always use it. <laughs> what you can do? Dog seva, donkey seva, monkey seva, you know, Doridra Narayan seva, you know, poor Narayan Seva, idiot number one. Popat openly speaking the name. I am not speaking the name. Popat speaking, they are all foolish, they are cheater. I can show Popat namingly, Popat giving the name. This association, this, you know, institution, this, you know, society, all cheater. Popat speaking, namingly. So, this way, most of the people, at least they are thinking, at least they are thinking that what is the bhajan? What bhajan should we, we should do? Whom to worship? Even that information they are not getting. So all of you, you will have to take responsibility. Don't get busy with personal life. It is your duty also, if you love Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you have to share, speak about their absolute truth. So, those Mayavadi, they are speaking that sadokanam hitar thayo brahma rupa kalpana. To do sadhan. To do sadhan. What is sadhan? What is sadhan? Mayavadi? To realize that I am Brahma, Aham Brahmasmi, that is their realization. That is also false realization. That is also false realization. No background, no? Baseless realization. If you are going to realize something, if it is baseless realization, who is going to give value? Anyway, they in their sampradaya, it is written, Shadho Kanam Hitar Thayo Brahma Rupa Kalpana. We are, for the time being, we are going to worship one, uh, worship money, we are going to believe, okay, for the time being. But when I become Brahma, I can throw all deity. No, oh, I'm just, oh, use this. Who is Guru? Who is Guru? Now I am Siddhi, Brahma Siddhi. This way, they are idiot number one. They have no common sense. One by one, if I discuss, you can go mad. How, you know, cheater they are. If they are at all going to, you know, get success to become Brahma, they are not speaking that we are going to submerge with Brahma. Try to understand, technical word. They are not speaking that we are going to submerge with Brahma. They say we become Brahma. Huh? What is this? They are going to speak that we become Brahma, Om Brahma. So for the time being, for the time being to support my, you know, sadhan, sadhan, you know, to support my sadhan, I am, for the time being, I am going to believe, I am going to accept one guru, I am going to accept, uh, okay. But when I become Shiddhi, Brahma Shiddhi, I can throw. This is their kapat vav. 
Mayavadi philosophy is so testy. Those demonic character, they are hundred percent going to catch this because they are demonic character. They have no serving mood. They have no serving mood. They don't lie. They, I am Brahma. I am Brahma. So popped up. Hundred percent be sure they are going to accept this Mayabad philosophy. Like I, give, I can give you an example. In a river, fishing guard, you know, fishing guard. Suppose I am going to catch one fish. You know, there was a string, one stick, you know, get some nice, you know, nice food there. And the fish roaming, roaming around. Oh, so nice. Catch. And then the man, follow what I say. This way, like those who are catching fish, they to use tasty, tasty thing. This way, those who are demonic character, they are going to accept this philosophy very tasty. They are accepting it. In Padma Puran, we find one sloka that by the order of Supreme Lord, by the order of Supreme Lord, Sankaracharya Ji was bound to come to preach Mayabad Siddhanto, which is called Sori Rak Bhashyo. Which is called Sori Rak Bhashyo. By the order of Bhagavan. Why? Just to divert those who are de demonic character to divert them. Bhagavan don't like to give nectar. Bhakti mean nectar? Bhagavan don't like to give nectar to those demons. That's why Bhagavan giving instruction to Sankar, O Sankaraha, Sankaraha, Shakshat Sankaraha. Sankaraha, Shakshat Sankaraha. Sankara Jajjo is Shankar Bhagavan. No doubt is coming by the order of Bhagavan to preach Mayava, tasty philosophy, very catchy for Mayavadi. They are going to accept and get deviated from devotion. Bhagavan, Naraji Maharaj speaking, Naraji Maharaj speaking to Vaisdevji, Naraji Maharaj speaking to Yudhishthir Maharaj, Naraji Maha speaking to Yudhishthi Maha, Ho oh, Rajan. Bhagavan even like to give you Mukti. Mukti, you know? Mukti. Bhagavan, ready. You like Mukti? Mukti, you need? Take Mukti. Different kind of Mukti. Shalokko, Sajujyo, Sarupo, Sastri. You know? You need Mukti? Take. But Bhagavan like to hide Amrita, you know? Amrita backside. Like to give. Narajima speaking to Yudhishthir Maharaj. Narajima Maharaj, Naraji Maharaj speaking to Yudhishthir Maharaj. That Bhagavan is ready to give even Mukti, which is very rare. Mukti cannot give. Who can get Mukti? <laughs> Dharma, Artha, Kam, Mukho, or Mukti, who can get? You show, show me. All busy with material thing, body, body related thing, whole day and night. They have no time to think about Krishna. Follow. If you go to more, you know, west, you can find, even in India, I'm not speaking. They are so materially attached. They are arranging Harikatha. I can announce next day in Hindi Harikatha. You can see. I cannot allow you time. I cannot allot my time according to your own advantage. You will have to, you will have to think what time is feasible to hear Harikatha. If at all you are interested, you hear, otherwise you go away. I don't like to attend you. I have no mercy. So that light, night time, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, I can arrange Harikatha and arrange Prasadam, I cannot arrange. Harikatha is prasadam. 
I cannot arrange, I cannot give advantage to you. This way, actually, Sankaracharya was bound to preach Mahava Siddhanta to protect Suddha Bhakti, Suddha Bhakti. And I already told Bhagavan, Naraji Maharaj speaking, Bhagavan dadati muktim smana bhakti yogam. Bhagavan even ready to give mukti, but not bhakti. Naraji Maharaj speaking. Bhagavan even, what speaking? Dadati muktim smana bhakti yogam. Bhakti yoga Bhagavan don't like to give so easily. Because, why? Bhakti is amrita. And if Bhagavan is going to give bhakti to you, Bhagavan is going to dance according to a gesture. You dance, dance, follow. If Bhagavan is going to give you bhakti, then Bhagavan is bound to come under your control. Follow, which is impossible. But only for pure devotees, Bhagavan can do. There is a reason. I can discuss also some special point tomorrow. Sisila Ramanu Chajo Tiruvaptiti. Why I am going to discuss all this thing as a you know preliminary discussion? Because we want to honor Madhva Charyo. Anand Tirtho Nama Sukhamai Dhama. The Ananda Tirtho. Madhva Charyo. You know the meaning of Madhva Charyo? Don't know. Foolish. You don't know the meaning of Madhva Charyo? Those who are studying Sanskrit properly, Sanskrit everybody learning. <laughs> no basic idea. <laughs> they say we are studying. What is the meaning of Madhva Charyo? Madhva Charyo means Madhu eh? plus Acharyo. Madhva Charyo. Madhu means Madhu mean you know? What do you mean by Madhu? Madhu mean? What is my Honey? Eh? Namani? <laughs> honey. Thik <laughs> hai, okay. Honey. I thought money. <laughs> Everybody think money. So anyway, so Madhu plus, Madhu plus Acharya, Madhva Acharya. Because Madhu is the name of Bhagavan. You don't know. In Rig Veda, if you go through Rig Veda, you can find Om Madhu Madhu Om Madhu is written. Madhu means Bhagavan. All the source of Amrita is Bhagavan. That's why one name of Bhagavan is Madhu. Hello. Adaram Madhuram Badanam Madhuram Madhuradipate Rakhilam Madhuram. You know this? Yeah, you, there's Madhuram, Bhagavan. <laughs> so Madhvacharya is going to bring Madhu, I mean nectar for us. If you like to take, you can come. Madhvacharya. I am bound to discuss this point because Madhvacharya, we respect Madhvacharya for infinity pure. So long as the creation is there. Because Madhacharya is the only super personality who is going to break Mayabad more prominently. I know, I know. I know all other Acharya like uh, Ramanujaju also Ramanujaju also going to break. I know Ramanujaju, Ramanujacharya also going to great break Mayabad with hex with Aksha. My, also Ramanushajyo. And Ramanushajyo wrote one book, up to now, no father taking birth in the world who can break this Siddhanta. No father in the world, in the creation. Our Ramanushajyo writing one book is called Parapakha Giri Bajru. It's Bengali name, Sanskrit, I say. I can translate into English. The name of the book is Parapakho Giri Bajru. You know the meaning? You don't know. Parapakho Giri Bajru means it is the thunderbolt for Mayavad. The meaning is that 
পরপক্ষ গিরি পরপক্ষ মানে অপোনেন্ট পার্টি উইজ ডোম হোয়াট ইউ মিন বা অপোনেন্ট পার্টি মায়াবাদী ফর দেম রামাচার্য মেকিং ওয়ান থান্ডার থান্ডার বল থান্ডার বল বাজরা ইস কল পরপক্ষ গিরি বাজ দে আর অল দিস দিস মাচ বুক ওয়ান বাই ওয়ান আর্গুমেন্ট এন সিদ্ধান্ত বিচার গিভিন বাই রামানুচার্য উইচ ক্যান কাট ইন টু পিসেস আর মায়াবাদ বিচার রামানুচার্য ক্যান ব্রেক ইন টু পিসেস কাট ইন টু পিসেস অ্যান্ড থ্রো ইন টু ইন আউটসাইড ইন গার্বেজ বাট রামানুচার্য রাইটিং ভেরি গুড বাট দ্যাস সিদ্ধান্ত বিচার অফ রামা সিদ্ধান্ত বিচার অফ রামানুজাচার্য ইস হোয়াট ইজ দিস বিশুদ্ধাদ্বৈতবাদ বিশুদ্ধাদ্বৈত হলো আর মাধ্যাচার্য শুদ্ধাদ্বৈতবাদ অল কম্পারেটিভ স্টেটমেন্ট আই ডান মে বি টু ইয়ার্স ব্যাক ইয়ে আই ডান মাধ্যাচার্য গোয়িং টু এস্টাবলিশ শুদ্ধাদ্বৈতবাদ অ্যান্ড রামানুচার্য গোয়িং টু এস্টাবলিশ বিশুদ্ধাদ্বৈতবাদ হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ডিফারেন্স টুমোরো আই ক্যান ডিসকাস লাস্ট চ্যাপ্টার নট পসিবল হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ডিফারেন্স বিটুইন শুদ্ধাদ্বৈতবাদ অ্যান্ড এন বিশুদ্ধাদ্বৈতবাদ আই ক্যান টাচ দ্য পয়েন্ট অফ মাধ্যাচার্য বিকজ টু ডে ইজ দ্য টপিকস অফ মাধ্যাচার্য Madhacharya jo basically wanted to approve Ramanujaj also but more prominent way Madhacharya jo wanted to establish the siddhanta not not a totally you know not completely because final touch was given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu follow try to understand what i mean to say Madhacharya jo more clearly মাধ্যাচার্য মোর ক্লিয়ারলি ওয়ান্টেড টু ইন্ডিকেট অচিন্ত বেদাভেদবাদ মাধ্যাচার্য মোর ক্লিয়ারলি ওয়ান্টেড টু ইন্ডিকেট বাট অচিন্ত বেদাভেদ তাত্ত রামানুচার্য অলসো ডাম বাট নট সো ক্লিয়ারলি ডান রামানুচার্য অলসো ডাম ইস ওকে বাট মহাপ্রভু ওয়ান্টেড টু শো when in dam mahatva in dam mahatva written by bhakti mr we gone, gone through that book no you can you must go you can buy one book is very important to get gaur bhakti if you can get gaur bhakti na you can throw russia and america you can stay you can roll down on ground in navadi oh navadi you best of me i don't like to those who are pure sadhu they going to embrace this dham you cannot realize each and every dust particle they are going to kiss they love so much navati from heart madhvacharya all four acharyas even shankaracharya four sampradayik acharyo na vishnu swami and madhvacharya ramanuj acharyo nimbaka who not even even shankaracharya they all came in navadip dham but you don't you have no information you have information <laughs> no they all came in navadip dham navajogendo chatushan all they came they are bound to come basically this navadip dham come on this navadip dham <laughs> all they are come bound to come here navajogendo chatushan সপ্তর্ষি সেভেন ঋষি অল হু নট এভরিবডি অ্যান্ড এ ন ওয়েন মাধ্যাচার্য কেম স্পেশালি আই এম স্পিকিং অবাউট মাধ্যাচার্য বিকজ মাধ্যাচার্য কেম লং বিফোর আর মহাপ্রভু এ ন অ্যাপিয়ার ফাইভ হান্ড্রেড ফিফটি ইয়ার্স বিফোর বা স্টিল গৌরাঙ্গ অবতার ইজ ইটার্নাল ইউ বিলিভ অর নট Gauranga avatar is eternal. So what to speak about Mahaprabhu appear, Mahaprabhu disappear? Eh? What to speak? 
अरे महाप्रभु इटर्नली प्रेजेंट महाप्रभु नॉट हिस्टोरिकल ट्रूथ इटर्नल ट्रूथ फॉलो सो इटर्नली प्रेजेंट महाप्रभु दे सो महाप्रभु कैन एफ यर नॉट दैट महाप्रभु केम हि फाइव हंड्रेड दैट आफ्टर दैट महाप्रभु कैन गिव दर्शन टू मा नॉट दैट ना सिद्धांत इटर्नली प्रेजेंट सो इटर्नली प्रेजेंट इज दे सो एन मदाचार्य केम महाप्रभु कमिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम आई एम गोइंग टू एश्योर इन दिस कलिकाल आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट योर संप्रदाय बिकॉज योर संप्रदाय हेज सम सम वेरी पॉजिटिव यू नो आस्पेक्ट पॉजिटिव थिंग वाट इज द पॉजिटिव थिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू आर गोइंग टू एस्टाब्लिश ऑलमोस्ट यू आर गोइंग टू इंडिकेट ऑलमोस्ट यू आर गोइंग टू इंडिकेट अचिंत विदावत्तत्व सेकेंड पॉइंट on the basis of that achinda vidavat tatva you are going to believe the eternal exist existence of all bonded jivas all jivas not bonded all jivas at the same time you know you are going to believe deity very vital for very 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 vital for You are going to believe deity, Bigraha. Bigraha is Sachidananda. Bigraha is Sachidananda. Bigraha is just equal to Bhagwan Himself. That Siddhanta, Shakti Tattva, actually given by Ramanuj Charjo. I can discuss tomorrow, but where more more prominent, Mahaprabhu was very happy. Mahaprabhu bless. well in this kalikal i am going to accept you in parampara bhakti murti tag bhakti murti tag speaking those demonic character people those who are not going to believe those who are going to those who are not going to believe that we are in madhva gauriya sampradaya they are actually demon they should be thrown out of sampradaya but it we it is our fault we are going to invite come 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 take a big asan if you give big asan to demonic character it is your privilege but you cannot get bhakti you can make a international society but you cannot be bhakti because you are going to give value to those material thing you are going to give value to material thing you are not thinking about अप्राकृत विषय यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू गिव एटेंशन सो मेनी सोसाइटी फॉर्मेशन वी कैन फाइंड पोपात कैटेगोरिकली पोप आर स्पीकिंग द नेम एंड स्पीकिंग दे आर द ट्रेटर पोप आर स्पीकिंग आई कैन शो यू नेम इन गौरी पत्रिका पोप आर स्पीकिंग द नेम ऑल दे आर ट्रेटर दे आर ट्रेटर Gauri, I am not going to cheat you. I promise you, those who are the member at present in Gauri, I am not speaking about them. They are purposely going to bring some garbage in Gauri, I am not. That is not the identity of Gauri, I am not. You should not pass any judgment on the basis on the basis of those foolish acharyas. They are going to indulge in this kind of foolish thing. Excuse me, I am not going to think about them. I am going to speak about Pramod Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. I am going to speak speak about Bhakti Pragan Kesha Goswami, Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami, all those great acharyas. They are the member of Gauri Mat. You can take control over Gauri Mat to become acharya. It is your privilege. But Prabhupad can never confess that you are one. You are one of the member of Gauri Mat. What is the symptom? What is the symptom so that I can confirm that you are the What is the symptom? What is the symptom in your life, so that I can confirm you are the member of Gauri Mat? You are one of the member. You think so easy? Member of Gauri Mat means member of Golok Dham. It's my hundred percent Siddhanta, spoken by Pohupat. Member of Gauri Mat means you are surely member of Golok Dham. Be careful. So. We like to honor Madhvacharya. 
for ever. Because Madhacharya more prominently going to break Mayava Siddhanta. Now I can come to this point. Do you understand? First point, Madhacharya is going to indicate Achinta Vidavat Tattva. Second point, he is going to establish the jivas are eternally, you know, present there. And Bhagavan is eternally present there. At the same time, Mata is going to establish the Siddhanta, the Vigraha, Vigraha deity is not stone or wood, nothing, metal, nothing. Vigraha is just equal to Bhagavan himself. Is the more prominent. Now I can switch over to the poem where I like to prove under the guidance of Bhaktivinu Thakur. Bhaktivinu Thakur is going to explain this Swachinta Vidavet Tattva. I have no time to discuss so many things. I have to discuss about Madhacharya. Endless ocean. Bhaktivinu Thakur speaking, when you are going to establish Achinta Vedavet Tattva. What do you mean by Achinta Vedavet? Inconce inconceivable Siddhanta Vichar, I mean simultaneously separate, different and non different. Simultaneously, you understand, follow. Simultaneously, different and non different. If you can realize from heart, not philosophically, oh, I know, I memorize, I speak, not that. If you memorize and speak, that is not Achinta Vedavet Tattva. If you can realize from heart, well, from heart, your heart can support this Achinta Vedavet Tattva, that's, then I can say, you realize Achinta Vedavet Tattva. Not philosophically, you can pass lecture, maybe you are professor, you have proficiency, you can go on speaking about. But that doesn't mean that you understand, you realize the Achinta Vedavet Tattva, not that. Achimita Vedavet Tattva Bhakti Mantra speaking, the reason for why we appreciate Madhvacharya more, we love, because Bhakti Mantra speaking, when we are going to establish Achinta Vedavet Tattva and going to speak, that everything simultaneously eh, separate and different and non different. Follow. You can remember Bhakti Mutagu writing one. Amnaya Prahatatyam Harimiyo Sarva Saktim Rasadhim. This sloka. Someday I can discuss. Bhakti Mutagu writing all the gist of Madhva philosophy, Darshanik Vichar. Amnaya Amnaya Tat Amnaya Prahatatyam Harimiyo Sarva Saktim Rasadhim. It's very nice. Try to give time. Don't waste time. Life is going. How long we can live? Don't waste time. Give time all the time for bhajan. Don't give time. Maya. All where Maya, if you look, all Maya. North crying. North Mutagur, eternal person of Gauranga. He's crying. Maya re koriya jai, charanuna jai. We cannot get, you know, victory over Maya. Maya is going to kick us. North Mutagur crying and you can go through Kitan. You can go through all kirtan of Northam Thakur. Not, you can cry. If you understand the meaning of Northam Thakur kirtan, every day, you have to do one of If you like to become devotee, Amdi Tilak Mala cannot prove that I am a devotee. Can prove? No. Northam Thakur crying. Thakuro Vaishnava Gano Kori Ei Nivedano. I can translate it. Nartamata was crying and speaking, writing Kirtan. Thakura Vaishnava Gano Koriyai Nivedano Mobaro Adham Durachar Daruna Sangshara Nidhi Tahe Dubailo Vidhi Keshe Dhari More Koropar. Nice Kirtan. Nartamata was speaking. Oh, Thakura Vaishnava, where you are, you save me. Takura vision. I am a fallen soul. I am a fallen soul. I can never get rescue. 
Thakur of Vaishnava go, no, Kori and it is my prayer to you. Mombada Adham Durachar. And this fearful material world going to catch me and throw me into down and down where you are. You catch my hair, you catch my hair and pull me out of this material ocean. Thakur of Vaishnava Gan. Thakur of Vaishnava Gan. Kori ei nibedano. Bhakti Mahatma, who writing? North Mahatma. Thakur o Vaishnava gano, Kori ei nibedano. Mabara yadham dura chara. Mabara yadham dura chara. Daru no sangsaro nidhi, tahe dubai lo vidhi, keshe dhori more koro paro, keshe dhori more koro paro. So nice kitan, we can go mad. It is the realization. Our Guru Bhargava used to say, Guru Maharaj, repeatedly Guru Maharaj told, but my son, if you, if you sing this song from heart, they are waiting to get Kipa. Maybe they gone. Maybe North Mutagur gone, you know, 450 years back. But still, if you are going to do the Kirtan of North Mutagur and Bhakti Mutagur, they are going to bestow Kipa on you, power. You can feel, you can try. You can try yourself and check up what I am speaking, right or wrong. Alone, nobody there. I am not going to get any, I have no expectation. I am in Basasan. I have no expectation to take your garland. I have no expectation to give, take honor from the world. Nothing. I like to throw, like garbage, stool and urine. The only thing I think, the only thing I am busy with, the only thing I'm busy with to satisfy Prabhupada, Bhakti Mutagur and Guru Bhargava. That I'm interested. I can come down to any level, you can throw me, you can attack me, I don't care. Only I'm going to think about the satisfaction or Prabhupada, Bhakti Mutagur, Guru Bhargava and Nityananda Gauranga. So you see, Madhacharya is going to establish this Siddha. Achinta Veda with indication. And Bhakti Mnuttaka speaking, if I am at all going to establish, you know, establishment, it is, it is established truth. I am not going to establish newly. It is established truth. It is eternally truth, absolute truth. But still, the point is that, if I like to explain Achinta Veda with Tatta, first of all, I will have to say, all and everything, whatever you can see, whatever you cannot see. Eh? All simultaneously different and non-different from Bhagavan. Na? Follow what I say. Simultaneous, simultaneously, each and everything in the infinity world, each and everything simultaneously different and non-different from Bhagavan. Bhakti Mataku speaking, when we are going to represent this darshanic vichar, they are simultaneously different and non-different. When we are going to establish this thing in front of, you know, devotees, then surely difference is taking a predominating factor. Follow us. Different and non-different between those things, Bhakti Mata was speaking, between this different and non-different, between these two things, difference is taking a prominent factor, predominating factor. Because if difference we are going to ignore, then non-different we cannot ignore. Like about Guru Tattva, we hear from Vishana Chakravati, what is Shaksha dharisteno samasya sasvai rukta stata bhavad. You know, huh? So there Vishana Chakravati was finally going to declare, that Bhagavan also going to declare in Gita, in Bhagavatam. Eh? Bhagavan going to declare, no? 
अहम भक्त पराधीन ही अशतंत्र आचार्य माम बीजानिया अरे यू आर आचार्य यस आई एम आचार्य आई एम आचार्य आचार्य माम बीजा व्हाट यू मीन व्हाट यू मीन व्हेन आवार विश्वनाथ चकोदी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस है शाक्षा धरित्ते न समस्त सास्ती रुकतो सता भव्यते वे सद्भी किंतु पवर जो प्रियो बतश्य बंदे गुरु सी चरना वी नो भगवान आल्सो स्पीकिंग I am non-different from Acharya, devotee. But still, we can say that that Guru Dev is so near and dear one. Guru Dev is so near and dear one. Like Bhagwan going to keep Guru Dev inside, inside heart. You see, huh? Heart of Krishna, Guru Maya wrote. Guru Vishnu, they are the heart of Krishna. Guru Vishnu, Vishnavi, they are the heart of Krishna. You cannot realize that. That's why you cannot love Krishna. Because when the day you can realize, you can say tears doing Hari Nam. You cannot bear the separation of Bhagwan. If that kind of opportunity coming in your life, then and only then you can realize what I am to speaking today. Follow what I say. Guru Vishnuv, Acharyas, they are the heart of Krishna. Bhagwan, like sampati, if you if you have some, if you has if you have some ornament and gold and ornament jewelry thing, where you are going to keep? You are going to keep openly in the market? No, you are going to keep in locker. You know, locker. You know, you are going to put into locker. Similarly, Bhagwan speaking, Guru Vishnuv. Or they are my property, heart. We are putting inside the locker of heart. But the Siddhanta which is the Achinta Vedavet, Achinta Vedavet, you mean that inconceivable. This much you understand. You understand this point. Achinta Vedavet means inconceivable. But Achinta Vedavet mean? What do you mean? Achinta Vedavet mean that Bhagwan and his devotee has so sweet relation. Someday I can discuss this point. It will take long time. Sweet relationship, which is which you cannot calculate, which you cannot calculate, which you cannot understand. Out of our range, we cannot. So, Bhakti Mitra was speaking. If we are going to discuss the Siddhanta Chinta Vedavet, I mean, infinity world, whatever we can see, we cannot see, simultaneously different and non-different. Like the case of Vishnu Chakravarti Sloka, I say, the Guru Bhakta is dear and near one, so near and dear one that Bhagwan. Going to think they are inseparable. Hello, when you love somebody in such a material love is uh, impractical. Material love impractical, but still uh, you have no experience. Material love is impractical, but what to speak? You cannot understand about a practical love. You have experience about the material love, so I am bound to give this example. If you have a tremendous loveful relation with somebody. Not only that, but also he is going to think, "You are my, you are my heart." Huh? You are my heart when speaking. Uh, this way, that's my. That's mean we can realize the eternal existence of devotees. At the same time, those devotees are non-different from Bhagwan. Follow. It doesn't exist in Bhag. Once, if Bhag, because try to understand, if eternal existence of devotee is not there, who can get the taste of bhakti? Who can, who can get the taste of bhakti? Bhagwan going to get. Try to understand. Bhagwan going to get the taste of devotees, na? Devotee is going to show. Try to realize. 
Bhagavan is going to show, a devotee is there going to show bhakti to Bhagavan. And Bihak Bhagavad Gita, I am discussing. Finally, I can, I can conclude. There is infinity varieties. There is infinity varieties of mood of devotion. There is infinity varieties. There is infinity varieties of devotional mood of infinity devotees. And Bhagavan like to show me bhakti. If somebody is going to show bhakti, Bhagavan embrace him, kiss him, Bhagavan like. Bhagavan is satisfied himself, but still Bhagavan like to get new, new devotees who can come in new creation and show bhakti to Bhagavan. Follow. You cannot realize what I mean to say. I mean to say that when Bhagavan already having, Bhagavan already having Sarup Shakti inside, Bhagavan already having Sarup Shakti, na? and Bhakti is a function of Sarup Shakti. Very concentration you will have to give what I mean to say. Bhakti is a natural function of, of Jivatma, all Jivatma. Apashol, at the same time, Bhakti is a function of Sarup Shakti inside. Sarup Shakti already, Sarup Shakti already there inside Bhagavan. So inside Bhagavan, there is Bhakti. But when Bhagavan is going to throw Bhakti, take, take Bhakti. Follow. Suppose one big Maharaj, very, very excited, is going to throw some sweet from the altar to everybody. If you are lucky, you can catch, throw. Somebody catch and take prasada. You can remember Jagannath temple, a Jagannath chariot. The pandas, they are going to throw sweet and fruit. Hey, throw. Hey, everybody can catch, somebody can catch, somebody cannot catch. Bhagavan is going to throw continuously. And Bhagavan like to see, Bhagavan like to, Bhagavan like to see, Bhagavan like to see some receiver, receiver who is going to catch and going to exhibit bhakti to Bhagavan. Follow what I say. I can give one example, very deep philosophy. Someday I can discuss all in details. You know, we are speaking, you are speaking, no? everybody is speaking. Speaking means it is the scientific expression of sound sound coming na that jugglery is depend upon air try to get my technical point foolish number one when we are speaking it is one kind of jugglery of air 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 our vocal cord is twisting in such a way Air going to pass and come out and according to tongue, in Sanskrit grammar, you can go mad. Tongue, you know, from this tongue you will have to pronounce one thing. From upper tongue you will have to pronounce one syllable. Sanskrit is so scientific. Sanskrit is so scientific, this you will have to, you will have to pronounce something. Upper tongue you will have to pronounce something. That tongue can touch the upper portion of our mouth, then can create some sound vibration to create one syllable, sound. What I mean to say, when we are speaking, doing anything, sound is created. Sound created, no? Sound created? Sound created? Okay, sound is everywhere. Sound is everywhere, why not? Sound is everywhere, we are not. But, but, if the sound is going to pass, if that same sound, same sound as speaking, that air is everywhere, it is a jugglery of air. But when I am going to put air in a bangsi flute, playing on fruit, then the same air coming in such a sweet way that you can imagine. Follow what I say. <laughs> Same year, blowing here and there. But when I'm going to play on fluid, I'm giving the same year. I'm going to control the, you know, leakage. 
then one sweet sound can come out. So, the Siddhanta Vichar is there, air can be there. But when one going to play on fruits, going to pass air in very technical way, scientific way, then we can have the chance to hear very sweet sound, sweet mellow. Eh? Right? Similar thing, maybe Sarup Shakti is there inside Bhagavan. But when Bhagavan is going to throw Sarup Shakti to Jivatma, Jivatma is going to catch and going to receive and going to show bhakti to Bhagavan, then Bhagavan feeling so tasty. Follow. <laughs> Bhagavan feeling so tasty. This is the Siddhanta. Now, I will have to discuss about Madhvacharya. So, now, by now we understand Ved and Aved. Simultaneously, different and non-different. Bhakti Mantra is speaking, this different and non-different. If different is, is different, is not taking a you know, predominating role, then the meaning is useless. Achinta Veda Ved, Ved and Baved. Well, Ved is 100 percent that Madhacharya wanted to establish. So we Gauriya devotees, we always want to honor Krishna Ite Chatur Mukho. Krishna Ite Chatur Mukho. Hai Krishna Sevan Mukho. Brahma Ite Narodera Muti. Narodera Haite Bhaj. Maddha Gaya Vaisadhat. Maddha Gaya Vaisadhat. This way we are singing every day. <laughs> Madhya Gaya Vasudasa. Purna Bhago Padana Bhagmut. Nihari Madhava Bhangshi, Akhava Paramangshi, Shishya Vali Angika, this Guru Parampara. So all our Guru Varga, including Baladev Vidyavishan, including Baladev Vidyavishan, for whom, about whom, all idiot people are going to put some allegation. The Madhacharya was bound to accept this and all. Actually, Madhacharya was an originally. Madhacharya was Ma, Madhacharya line. Mane Baldev Vidyavishan originally was in Bhadda, you know, Madhacharya line. He was bound. He was bound to. Then he wanted to make one bridge. Then he wanted to make one bridge between Madhacharya and Gauri. Not that. Our Guru Bhargava, Bhakti Mithagar, every, everybody established. No, it is false allegation. We have a root cause. We have a root cause, I can trace out like, you know, pleader, you know, pleader? There is pleader. <laughs> Going on, I can prove. Not that, you are false. So this Madhacharya, now I like to speak something because time is over, almost. So, Madhacharya is a great, by the mercy of Bhagavan, Mukho principal Bayu. We have six kind of Bayu, you know? Eh? You don't know? Very foolish people. Six kind of air function there in our body. Eh? Pan, opan, udan, saman, ban, oh, pancho, pancho, you know, five different. Different kind of function of bayu. If, if air not going to function properly inside your heart, your body, you cannot digest your, you know, prasadam. You cannot digest, you cannot sleep. All function are controlled by Bayu. And that principal Bayu, annihilation, principal Bayu. That principal Bayu is Hanumanji Maharaj ki jai. That Hanumanji Maharaj. And Bhimsen Maharaj ki jai. All Mukha Bayu part. They are the incarnation of that Mukha Bayu, principal Bayu. Hanumanji Maharaj and Bhimsen. And that in now in this Kalikal, we are going to get the privilege to meet you know, with the Siddhanta Bichar of Madhvacharya. Madhvacharya is the Mukha Bayuva, principal Bayu Avatar. He is incarnate. So abnormal body. If you look at Madhvacharya, you cannot believe. How possible? Oh, tall figure. Oh, oh, oh. One man. He is having the power of 30 men. One man who is so powerful that 30, 30 powerful men, those who are practicing, you know, gymnastic feats, martial, barbell, <laughs> 30 men at a, at a time, together cannot defeat Madhacharya. One day, 
One people going to challenge even Mother Charja. One day, one way, one board, one and going to challenge again Mother Charja. He is having the power of thirty men at a time. Thirty men at a side. Thirty men power is there in one man. So powerful, tall figure. He is going to put challenge. We can do wrestling of these Mother Charja. I have no time. Okay, Mother Charja going to put his you know right hand, uh, right leg. Down, going to put you know this leg, leg, toe, toe, you know, you know, first finger, uh, first finger of your right hand leg. Mother Jaju going to put here on the ground. Mother Jaju going to stand and going to put the first finger of the right hand leg down and asking him, you can, you can detach me, you can detach me. That the man, oh, oh, trying. Long time they cannot displace. Cannot displace. He was just fed up. Ultimate throw. <laughs> he cannot do. All sweat coming. Mother Jadu, only the finger cannot <coughs> move. Then Mother Jadu, now I like to speak something because time is over. Mother Jadu took birth in South India, Andhra. And there one Paja Khetra. Paja near Urupi. From Urupi you have to go further. You have to go further. It's called Paja Khetra, Paja. And from Paja Khetra, you will have to go to Ananta Ananteshwar temple. Ananteshwar temple, Ananteshwar means Balaji Maharaj, I mean Bhagavan. Father of Madhacharya is Narayan Bhatta. The name of the name of the father, the name of the father of Madhacharya, eh, his name was basically Basudev. I can come to the point. I am discussing about Siddhanta Vijayana, so I am bound to take so much time. But otherwise, I have so many things to speak. I cannot get time. In Paja Khetra, it was a Brahmin predominated field. Paja Khetra is a Brahman predominated field. Brahman, all pure, pure Brahman saying. Among them, the father of Madhacharya, I mean Vasudev, is topmost. His name was Narayan Bhatta. His name was Narayan Bhatta. And mother is Bedvoti. Bedavati. Mother. Bedavati, Bedavati. And Father Narayan Bhatta. They are not going to take, they are not going to get any children. Many children are going to die, one or two or three, I cannot remember. After that, they are going to cry and cry. I mean, the father of, and mother of Madhacharya, they took resolution. In the temple of Anantashwar, O Bhagavan, we are going to take bow for 12 years continuously. Only milk they can drink. Follow. Only milk, no, no rice, no grain, no wheat, chapati, nothing. Only they can live on milk. Continuously for 12 years. 12 years continuously living on milk. Can you imagine? After 12 years, bow is over. Anantheshwar is going to bless. Well, your couple can get one boy. And there was a forecast, you know. One man in Anantheshwar temple, in Anantheshwar temple, there was a big function going on. Big function. Suddenly, one young man going to climb long, tall, you know, temple, long. One man, like ghost, going to climb the temple and going to climb on the top of Sudarshan. Can you imagine? Impossible. Impractical. The man immediately climbed on the Anantasa temple and standing <clears throat> on the wheel, on the wheel my chakra, Sudarshan Chakra and dancing like Nataraj, you know? Nataraj, you know? 
Nataraj, our Mahadev, or we can say like Krishna in Kaliyanag, you know? In Kaliyanag, Tate, Tata, Tate, Tate, this way, dancing. Everybody is looking. How it is possible? Impossible. Somebody cannot climb. Who can climb? Who can climb that, you know, so, you know, high temple? And it's a miracle that the man, how getting the balance? He's, because chakra has some pointed portion, is dancing. Ah, dancing. And from up, everybody looking. All thousands of devotees. What happens? Oh my God, what happens? That the man from up going to forecast. That the man from up going to forecast. I am dancing because I am going to forecast very shortly some great personality coming. Deputed personality by Bhagavan coming. Who can rescue you from this material, you know, ocean place, you know, material, painful ocean. Then the man, I mean, Anantashwar, Anantashwar entering, like ghost entering, you know, like ghost, like Anantashwar entering into the heart of that man, pure man, who is going to climb and going to forecast, dancing and speaking. I am dancing because hear me, oh gentlemen, hear me. Very shortly, very shortly, one, you know, gigantic personality, big Mahapurush, going to appear here, going to, going to rescue you from material bondage. So everybody dancing. After that, Madha Charjo going to take birth in the house Madha Giho. Madha Giho. The name of the house is Madha Giho. Madha Giho. Going to take birth. And the bab and the boy was abnormal. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took birth, no? Abnormal. Big, long figure. Golden completion. Madha Charjo took birth. He was so nice looking, oh, so sweet. Like honey coming from lotus leaf, lotus eyes, always so nice. Finally, the couple, I mean the father and mother of Madhaji could realize it is, it is by the blessing of Anantheshwar, we are going to get this kind of boy. Then after that his name was his name was Vasudev. Narayan Bhattu was thinking, from very childhood, we find his very, you know, from very, very childhood, that the small boy is full of devotional mood. So, Mother and Narayan Bhattu could realize that his name should be Vasudev. Vasudev growing up, going to get educational qualification, or bakaran nothing. What to speak about bakaran? People, they are going to spend their life 18 years for bakaran, but they cannot digest. 18 years, I can show you, 14 years, 15 years, they are running bakaran, bakaran, they cannot do. But Madhacharya, Vashudev, going to complete bakaran, very easy, huh? bakaran over. Bakaran, all, you know, a different relate, related thing, related thing with Bakaran complete. After that, he was sent to learn. In the meantime, there is long, long, so many things I for, I like to say, I like to say, but I cannot speak. Many times, suppose Narayan Bhatta, father, going to recite some stotra, small boy, father, this Shotra, this pronunciation should be like this, na? Eh? What do you think? Father, no? it is small boy. Hey, you know, father, the meaning of this word? What is the meaning? He is going to. Father say, I am father. A small boy going to explain this way? Eh? Father could realize the abnormal boy, sent by Bhagavan. Then uh, finally, he was sent to learn Veda, Vedanta, everything. He was sent to Gurukul, you know? Gurukul. They is learning, but not learning. Whole day playing. Whole day playing with boys. He was sent for learning, no? But he is playing whole day. 
Then one day the Guruji become very hey, you are playing whole day and day, hey, not reading. Madhaja just folded her head, seeking. Gurudev, how much time it will it how much time it will take to memorize this small study and you know, your study? Hey, what do you mean? The tax the tax you are giving to me, how much time it takes to complete it? Hey, what do you say? Speak out. He went on speaking, all previous study, now study. Oh my God! Could they want to beat him? I can, I, can, I can beat with stick. You are wasting time. Gurudev, how much time it takes to memorize this small tax? Eh? What do you mean? Speak. I went on speaking all previous, now, <laughs> all everything. One day, one day, Maybe other Abhirbhav Tirabhad I can describe at a time not possible. I remember so many things. <laughs> Mata Charjo, one day with a, with a stick in hand, with a stick in hand, coming in front of father. In front of father. After learning Ved, Vedanta, everything, father, I am going to I am going to destroy a Mayabad Bicha. Huh? You foolish small boy, you are going to destroy, you know, my yes. I can destroy. Impossible. If the dry streak, if the dry streak in your hand, father speaking to the small boy, if the dry streak in your hand going to take the form of a big tree, then it can be possible. Otherwise not. Madhya Swingi, you can believe me. I am going to destroy my body. You cannot believe. Then Mata Judge is going to put the streak, dry streak, into mud. Immediately, within fraction of a second, the tree becomes big tree, banyan tree. Father looking, now I believe it can be possible. <laughs> it can be possible. <laughs> that tree is also there. You fool is going there now to get treatment. There, tree. That tree is there. You fool is. Only treatment of body, treatment of heart. <laughs> that is there. That that tree is there. Still today you can see. Mata Jaja putting the dry streak. Attack. Pa immediately. Oh, big tree. Then father say, it can be possible for you. Follow. What is it? One day, they are very poor. They are very poor man, poor Brahmin. One day, after taking bar, I mean one Brahman going to give donation of a nice cow, Gomata. Follow. And the father, Narayan Bhatta, going to buy one ox, ox, you know, ox for cultivate for different reason. Wanted to buy one ox. But the payment is not there, money is not there. And the man coming with the ox, here is your ox, you give me the this, how much you need? Actually, at present I have no money. Okay, you can come someday, I can give you money. In the meantime, the small boy, Madhacharya, small boy, Vasudev, going to, going to get some paddy, like, like Krishna. Krishna going to pay to the fruit, fruit, you know, fruit seller lady, no? you can remember. Madhacharya is going to get some paddy in hand and come here. I am going to pay you, you take this. <laughs> Payment for the ox. Father said, what you are doing? You never mind. Actually, my small boy is mad. A small boy, he said, never mind. I can pay you. Father, I am going to pay. He's going to give some paddy. Then the man, with full respect, doing great step. And after looking at the boy speaking to father, your payment is over. The small boy is giving so much payment, paramarthic, Transcendental payment. Yes, boy, I can realize by looking at the boy. I don't need payment. My payment is over. I'm going. <laughs> this way, Madhacharya is going to pay. When Madhacharya is growing up, when Madhacharya is growing up, it becomes horrible for Mayavadis. <clears throat> when Madhacharya is growing up, gradually, eight year, nine year, ten year, in our country, Ten years boy, we are taking in lap and kiss him. But Mother Judge, your ten years boy, is going to break, destroy Mahavad Siddhanta. Eh? 
What do you say? Mayabad Siddhanta is going to crash down in Anantasya temple. All thousands of people around. And he is going to, you know, you know, destroy Mayabad with that, that time one Sankarajajyo. Because Sankarajajyo, all they are sitting in chair, we say Sankarajajyo. Number one Sankarajajyo, number two Sankarajajyo, number three, Sankara you have to speak this way. That time Sankarajajyo, who was decorating their chair, he was there. Madhachajyo going to, Madhachajyo going to challenge that your Siddhanta all wrong. Mahatma is going to establish in front of thousands of people. In front of thousands of people, Mahatma Jaju, your Siddhanta is wrong. It cannot so happen. One day in Varanasi, one day I can come to the point, but I am scattered. I am bound to discuss scattered because serially we discuss a long time. One day in Varanasi, Manikarnika God, Mata Chajyo, Discussing some Siddhanta Vichara or Sankara Chajyo, as some Pandit. Fighting going on. Mataji is speaking this, he is speaking. He is going to speak. Ultimately, in the, in the air, in the sky, everybody discovered some blue color figure. Some deep blue color figure appear. And going to forecast. Hey! You cannot defeat Madha. You cannot defeat Madha Charjo. He is supported by Supreme Lord. Defeated. I mean Basadeva. A deep blue color, Basadeva. Very, very deep. Like black. Going to see. You cannot do anything. You cannot do. You know. With some disciple, Madha Charjo going to meet. You know, different pilgrimage, pilgrimage, different pilgrimage. Mata Jaju going to different pilgrimage. Mata Jaju going in different pilgrimage. Like Kedarnath, Badinath, you know, Gangatri, Gomu, everywhere. When Mata Jaju going to reach Naranaran, two hills. If you go to Badinaran, you can find two big hills. One is Naran and Naran. In Naran hill, you can find Badrika Ashram, Badrinaya, Bhagavan. From there you have to go long distance. I went there. Ice and ice everywhere. I go to the Basa Gufa, where Basadeva, you know, used to stay. Used to stay, no, still today is staying. I should not say, eternally present. I wanted to touch the river, I wanted to touch, I wanted to touch the water of Saraswati. All people around, don't go, don't go, you can fall down. And within fraction of a second you can die. Shot this way, no? I'm going, gradually I'm coming, coming with a stick to touch the water of, you know, Saraswati and train, to get the keep up Saraswati. So Rixi. Vasudev Goswami, eternally present. Madha Jajyo giving advice to his disciples. You can stay here in Padrikasram. I myself alone can go to meet with Vasudeva. Some of the Gurudev I can go. Even Gurudev gone. Gurudev watching this. Hey, don't come. One disciple come. No, don't come. Alone going. Whenever Basadeva Goswami is going to reach, hey, Madhacharya is going to reach Bas, 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 Bas Gufa, Basadevji Bas Maharaj appear. Basadevji Maharaj appear going to embrace. And within short interval, within, within short interval, Basadev is going to give. Basdev is going to give all the teachings of Veda, Vedanta, Upanishad, what all he wrote, he inculcate all power so that he can realize it. That's why we say Madhacharya was initi Madhacharya was originally initiated by Basadeva. Madhacharya is the disciple of Basdev. 
follower is there. Madhajajo is the disciple of Vyasadev. Krishna is the Chaturmukh, Hai Krishna Sevam, Brahma is the Narodhira Muti, Narodhira Muti, Vyas, Madhukaya Vyasadas. Madhukaya Vyasadas. Madhajajo is speaking, I am the servant of Vyasadeva. How lucky we are. How lucky we are. You gone mad? How lucky we are. We are in the line of Madhacharya Vyasadeva. How lucky. You are feeling weak? Why? You have so much power. You are feeling weak? Why? This way, Madhacharya is going to take all Kipa and started, and started writing you know, Vedanta Sutra Bhashya, Vedanta Sutra Bhashya, Upanishad Bhashya, all very quickly. Matachaja book, if I go on, so many books, so many. Bhagavad Tika, this, that, Mahabharata Tika, so went on writing. Matachaja, so many Tika. Commentary, so many. And specially writing, you know, commentary on Vedanta Sutra. Finally, he wanted to take sannyas at the age of 11. Somewhere, Somebody comment at the age of 12, somebody going to comment at the age of 11. At the age of 11, in our country, 12 years boy, we can catch in, you know, take in lap. So small boy is going to take sannyas. Without taking permission from father and mother. Gone. Some police people going to pass remark that before taking sannyas, you will have to take permission from father and mother. But not that. This Siddhanta is not perfect. Madhaja gone. So many things I cannot speak. Time is very limited. Someday surely I can discuss so important points. Madhaja is going to take sannyas from Achyuta Preksha. You know? Achyuta Preksha. A guru name is Achyuta Preksha. His name is Ochyuta Preksha. Going to take sannyas at the year of 12. And from that day onward, going to preach Mayavad, eh, going to break Mayavad, destroy Mayavad. From that day onward, Mataji started preaching Shuddha Bhakti Siddhanta. Shuddha Daitavad. Continuously. Mayavad group was so so fear, fearful that ultimately they took decision to attack Madhacharya. Madhacharya, his sannyas guru, his sannyas guru, Madhacharya, his sannyas guru, his, you know, his guru, all they took plan to give fire to their temple. You can imagine, fire. They are taking fire and giving fire in temple, so that they can destroy all the books compiled by Mother Shaji. Sannyas Guru, Achyuta Prekha, his Guru, they were bound to apply Mayabhat Tilak. They are going to beat, going to kill. Finally, follow. They are bound to apply Mayavati log, you know Mayavati log this? Mayavati log. You will have to speak Om Brahmasmi, otherwise we can kill you. Internally, they are Vaishnav, externally, by the influence of them, they are bound. Finally, Madhacharya took decision how to preach extensively. Who can kill? Because he is the principal Bayu Avatar, Mukha Bayu Avatar. Who can competition? I like to discuss scattered discussion because time cannot permit. One day, Madhaja Jo sitting in the beach of a Kaveri Nodi, I think, and one big ship, ship, you know, ship, they are going to do business, business ship, you know, commercial ship. They are going to, you know, sell their item to different places and going to collect Chandan, Gopi Chandan from Darika. They are going to collect Gopi Chandan. Gopi Chandan, Gopi Chandan from Daruka. 
One ship going to Daruka, I mean Gujarat, Daruka, everywhere, going to sell their product. And finally going to collect some other product, including Gopichand and everything, big, big, into their ship and going to come here to sell here also. Man, some item they are going to take there to sell and some item they are going to take here to sell. In the meantime, that the, that the ship was in great danger. The ship was in such a great danger that the, that the ship cannot move. The ship, the ship cannot move. It's stuck up. It's stuck up in a beach. Even after coming water, still cannot move. Stuck up in one place. The owner of the ship, I mean the, the businessman, they're crying. They watch one, they watch one powerful man, spiritual figure. Please you save us. We are going to die. Please save us. Is crying in front of Mother Jaja. Mother Jaja doing bhajan. Finally, he is crying so much that Mother Jaja was bound to show this. Only this. Mother Jaja sitting here, going to show this. After that, the ship, hush, get free and started moving. The owner of the ship was so happy, I like to give you some donation. No need of donation, you go. Oh, I like to give some, you please accept some. Uh, maybe you need Gopichandan now, you are doing Tila. Okay, you can give some. He is going to take one big Gopichandan, big Gopichandan, one. Going to take. Okay, you take. From ship, they are going to throw that Gopichandan to Madhacharya. Even 10, 20, 30 people, cannot move. That is the rock of Chadu. That is the one kind of rock of Gopichandan. Thirty people cannot move. When he is going to give Gopichandan, Mother Jesus is going to take in one hand and coming in one. One hand. Like, just like a, a small boy taking toy is going to take. Ultimately, when going to place in one place, the Gopichandan crack. Gopichandan crack. And from inside, Bal Gopal coming out, dancing Gopal. That Gopal is still there. Bal Gopal coming out. Gopal dancing. Nitya Gopal. Miracle. That Gopal was installed, I mean, installed already. It is eternally present. Abhishek done. He established Seva there. Seva there and eight, I am going to touch only. I have no time. Only I'm going to touch this point. Eight Acharya branch, one branch of Acharya, eight Brahman pure, they are selected to organize the seva every two months. Every two months. This way, Madha Chajo, I cannot speak anything about Madha Chajo, is a great, by the mercy of Madha Chajo, I am, you know, somehow going to discuss something, time cannot permit, excuse me, if the time permits someday, I can discuss more and more. Naivat mano prabhurayam nijalab purno manam jana davidusho karuno brinite jajjaj jano bhagavate pidadhi tamanam tachatmane pragdimukosya jatha mukoshi. Naivat manu prabhu rayam nijalab purno manam janada vidusho karuno vinite jad jad janu bhagavate vidati tamanam tachatmane pratimukasya jatha mukasri. Someday I can explain this sloka. I have no time to explain. This sloka, the sloka I started with. Vancha kalpatarvasi ke pasindu bevashya. Patitanan Papa Nepovishna, you know.